Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys my entire blush collection. I have been working on a series for the past couple of months just showing you guys different categories of my makeup in individual videos instead of a whole makeup collection video. One, because that is so time consuming for you guys to watch and two, I can actually sit down when I break it up into different categories and show you each individual item and how I feel about each one and it also kind of helps me declutter. So before we get into the video, I would like to just say hello and hi if you're new here. Make sure you do subscribe. I do new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on any of those fun videos and without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. Ooh, I look like a bum today. I tried to do this like cute like little baby hair frizzy situation and they're just not they're just frizzy. They're not working. Usually they'll curl real cute like whatever. We're just gonna have to move on. It's too okay. bad. So I guess we'll get started with the palettes first. Now some of these like this ABH one has a blush and bronzer and highlighter in it but my focal point of it is going to be obviously the blush. This is the Off to Costa Rica palette from ABH and it is looks like this. This is actually one of my um, current favorite blushes and bronzers so I really really love this palette and the blush is like it has like a little shimmer in it but it's not powdery at all like I can dip and then apply it but I do have to build this one up a little bit more than some of the other ones. So the next one is gonna be the Moon Prism Palette by Lunar Beauty and this is a six pan blush palette and I've dimmed down my lighting just so you guys can see the actual tones and colors of these blushes but I like to use all of them up here spacey gravity twilight stargaze twilight is my favorite spacey I go to and then these two down here I don't really use too much I think that this is just way too kind of holographic -y shimmer for me and then pink moon is just a little too light for my skin tone so I really just don't use those as much like see I think this would be pretty as like an inner corner or an all-over eyeshadow but it just really doesn't scream blush to me but this actually Actually was my favorite blush palette for a pretty long time a, pretty, a very long time but the one that replaced it was the Rouge Romance by Jaclyn Cosmetics this is also a six pan blush palette and let me tell you what ugh, this blush there's just oh, this is the warm tone one it's more peachy orange than it is like blue undertones cool undertones reds pinks there's not a single blush on here that I don't love I think I use tea room the most ever after and fancy pants are the ones I go to the most but I oh not only is this packaging stunning and so is this one I love blush palettes because I find that as long as they can get for the most part nice shade ranges that I can use all of them like this one not a single one is too dark not a single one is too light so I really really love that and that's why it's my current favorite this one there's two that I really don't use because I don't care for them but there's not a single one in the rouge palette that I dislike at all so this one is the urban decay Gwen Stefani blush palette and this is old this was one of my first ever blush palettes actually I think this was my first blush palette I don't know it was a long Long time ago it's a very very long time ago when I first started getting into higher-end makeup and actually I really did love it um the my favorite were OC so my favorite were OC and then this one here which is easy I use these two the most but I don't really use it anymore. I think I just have it for sentimental reasons. I think that's the only reason because I don't use it anymore. And then the next one is the Joey and this is the Bouquet something six shade blush palette. <laughs> can't pronounce it and she is stunning and I do love using all of them but my favorite in this one is Marigold and Kiss Me which are these two right here super cute and then we have a new one by KKW Beauty it's not new like she just launched it but it's new to my collection like literally I've never used it I got it with the big sale that she just recently had but I absolutely love the tones of these blushes and I can't wait to use it I really cannot and then the next one is a Alamar 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 Alarm I don't know. I think it's Alamar Cosmetics. I got it from a BoxyCharm a couple years ago and I don't really go for it but I will tell you this is so pretty. I need to put this in a need to use pile somewhere. I need to put a bin. So I have a bin here that sits with like makeup that I've done videos with and I just kind of like hold it there for like a week and then I put it all away at the same time instead of each individual video. But I need to get a 
like a like a bin or something out of things that I want to start using or do more shop my stash videos. And then this is the Kiko Kiko Milano blush palette and this is the Smart Essential Face palette. I actually got this. They sell this here. I've seen them at TJ Maxx recently but a couple of years ago a friend of mine went to Italy and he knows how much I absolutely adore makeup so he got me this palette and I really do love it. Like the blushes are absolutely to die for and this is one of my favorite bronzers so. So then I have two pixie blush palettes so these were sent to me in PR one is a little bit lighter than the other but I love this one the most I use this one the most but these are really good I don't care for the highlighter so much but the blushes they're really nice actually for being a lower end brand if you will and then I have a ColourPop out of sight pressed powder blush and this is like a deeper orangey tone oh they're my favorite when it comes to blushes orange peach colors and then I have the trip for two wonder beauty blush and bronzer duo I actually do not care for this one at all and this bronzer when I first got it I got it in a boxy jar I was just like is that a setting powder for me because that's definitely not a bronzer for me it's not dark at all and the blush is actually not even that good I think I'm gonna get rid of it I think I'm gonna get rid of it so then we're gonna go to cheek star mini reunion tour by benefit cosmetics this one is Georgia and then sugar bomb and then hula I actually do not use hula very often at all if ever because it's a little bit too light for my skin tone but it is a bronzer but like it's just it doesn't really show up very well is all I'm saying so it's a little bit too late for me but I do actually love to mix sugar bomb because it turns out to be really pretty with that yellow and the deeper color and a little bit of shimmer I've actually never used Georgia so I'll have to try it out so the next thing I have is the Ciate London Miss Piggy collection blush palette and this is the all about me there's the inside comes with four of them and they are creams but they're just not very pigmented it's like a cream cream to blush situation but they're just not very pigmented and I don't really use them as much I will for the most part use these I use them more than I ever thought I was going to because lately I've been really into like the cream look like right now I have like a cream blush on because I just have a tinted moisturizer on nothing crazy so that's when I usually go into stuff like this so I will keep that because I will eventually use it eventually so now we're gonna start getting an individual ones <sighs> Let's talk about Kylie. This is the new Kylie one that I got. They did finally replace it. It's square. And this is rosy, which by the way, if <laughs> you know what the old rose, I've already done this on a review. So I'm not going to talk long about it. But this was the old rosy and this is the new one. This is so much darker and this wasn't even that dark. So she needs to really amp it up when it comes to her inclusivity of color. But to make the only dark shade of blush you have lighter than it was, it's kind of not good it's not good so I showed you Rosie and I also have crush which is this just this lighter one I kind of like this one but I think my daughters use this one more than I do if I'm being honest and then we have baddie on the block which is one of my favorite in the winter time when I'm a little bit more light I really like these I know some people didn't I have used these for a very long time and I really do enjoy them so this one is my favorite of her older collection it's we're going shopping I think I would like to buy the new one if they have it I'll have to look and see if they change it because it's actually my favorite of all her blushes because it's such a peachy beautiful undertone and then we have kitten baby which is another winter one that I like to use so and then the last one is close to perfect and it's just a very light one but it has like a little bit of a pinky undertone to it all right so I'm gonna go into cream blushes real fast so I have these three from pixie beauty again they were sent to me for PR I have ruby juicy and floor the these are gorgeous. I do not like them. Sam, I am. No, I do not like them on my skin over foundation. I have found that I just don't like it. Um, I do like it with a tinted moisturizer and I do like it with a luminizer. And then I like it by itself. I'm just swatching them for you so you can see them. These are my go-to summer situations. Cream has been my new favorite thing. I was so deathly afraid of cream when I first started into makeup. And now like I wouldn't have it any other way. But they're pigmented. They're easy. I just kind of like swipe and then I use a beauty blender and blend them out. So the first ones we will go to are going to be the ColourPop ones. These are the blush sticks. They launched a long time ago and I got the whole collection. So this one is Aloha and I'm not going to swatch all these for you but I will open 
them and show you because unfortunately they all have the same packaging. This one is Under Pressure, which is actually my favorite one. I will swatch this one so you can see it. It's that peachy orange. And these are really creamy, but I will say, if I'm being honest, the Pixie Beauty ones were a lot better. So this is the 25-8 know what that means but it's just another dark one and I just don't go to these as much as like my other cream blushes like they're just they are creamy and I really like them but I find them to be a lot thicker and a little bit more heavier than most of the cream blushes that I currently own so this one is hooked beautiful see and they're all very similar in color so that's another thing is like I wish I didn't get all of them because they're so similar in color it was like eh, I probably didn't need all of them and then this is another favorite this is flamenco flamenco that's what it says flamenco and it is that super hot pink and I I love super hot pink blush <laughs> blush is definitely like one of my favorite makeup items besides the lipsticks lipsticks blushes I just I think they're so beautiful and you can wear them in so many ways and use them in so many I just love blush I love it so the next one is the Kendall and Kylie collab blush stick I think this is like the only one that she actually came out with I honestly don't remember so don't shoot me if I'm wrong but this is called runway I know she came out with bronzers maybe she did come out with blushes too I don't remember but very very pretty it is actually really really creamy really creamy I thought it was gonna be a lot similar to the ColourPop ones because they look you know identical but it is a little bit different I won't lie it is not as thick as the ColourPop ones so there's a different formula in there. So the next three are more high end. This is the Makeup by Mario one that he just recently launched. I have a bronzer stick and I was like, I need to get me a blush. So it comes with a brush at the end, which I don't use because I hate putting it back on. And this one is in the shade Raspberry and it is so bold. And I'm gonna show you this and you're gonna be like, oh my God, look how bold that is. But I actually have it on my cheek. Once it's blended out, and I just kind of, a little goes a long way. But once it's blended out, it's really not as like, woo, raspberry red, pink that you think that it is. So then the last two are Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics in Overruled. Yes, Overruled. And this is super cool. Oh my God. Dang, they just used half the two. It just like slid like butter. That was nice. I only like using this one by itself or over a luminizer. I do not like to use it with a full face of foundation because it does tend to lift my foundation and also kind of splotchy. And then the last one is the ABH one, which is Peachy Keen. It also comes with a brush hmm. and then with the actual blush itself. This one is thick as well. So I've only used this one like one time and that one's right there. So it's pretty, it's just super thick and not as like glide on creamy. I love my cream blushes or cream products in general are creamy. So I could just dab, 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 dab and blend them out so nice. So uh, last but not least, some more individuals. So these are actually face palettes, but I'll show you the blushes because I really, really like them. This is Rich Rose and this is by Morphe. This is one of their um, Morphe 2 stacks. I have a KKW Beauty one, which is newer to my collection. This is the Classic Peach Blush Duo. I haven't used it, so wait, did I use I think I did use this. I think I used it once for a video, and I actually liked it. I don't remember. I'll have to get back to you to be determined, because I can't remember. <laughs> and then I have this one, which is the Patrick Star and Matt collection. It is also a duo. It's the Take Me Home duo. One of my favorite oldie but a goodie it's the makeup geek xoxo blush and i just used this in the shop my stash i love her love her super old not getting rid of it got it in a boxy charm like one of my first ever boxy charms when makeup geek was like huge so the next ones are super shock shadows and these are not my favorite but i do tend to use them this is the stop it and then this one is cruel intentions which came from that wine collection this one also came from the wine collection brute flute they look very similar and then this one is the oh she's blushing so these two were for the ram rock one and this one was from the wine collection I don't really reach for these much but I think that they're nice to have just to 
I don't really know. I don't use them, if I'm being 100% honest with you. So I got these Wet n Wild Love Blushes. Only one of them is open. This one is the Mellow Wine, and I'm pretty sure I hated it. Like, it wound up being very just blah, but ow, that looks good, actually. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back to these because that one swatched very nicely. And then another oldie but a goodie, the Milani Baked Blush. We love her. We know her. She's amazing. And then I have a NYX Ombre Blush, which is engraved with a heart because my daughter did that to tell me that she loved me one day. And I was like, oh, could we have found a different way to tell mommy that you loved her? than destroying her makeup. Now, okay. So this one is really, really pretty. This adds shimmer to it right here, this lighter part, but it's so orange and peachy and just, it is just, oh, this is one of my favorite generic blushes. Like if you look, oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. So gorgeous, generic, not generic, it's a name brand, but inexpensive. So this is another cream blush. I don't know how it got over here. Maybe it didn't fit over there, but it's actually one of my favorite. This is the Summertime Wine by Fenty. The only problem <laughs> is why is it so small? Regular blush, Fenty blush. Sample size blush, Fenty blush. It's just, it's very small. Is very, very small. So the next thing is the NARS sample I have. And this is in the shade Orgasm, which used to be one of my favorite. And I got rid of the big one because I'd used most of it. So then I had this sample left and now I don't use it like ever. We're down to the last four. So if you're still here, I uh, thank you. Thank you. So the next one is the Mistake Proof Blush by Deck of Scarlet. Deck of Scarlet. It is orange super orange. I have to try to use this one again because I used it with the brush that it came with and it wound up making a horrific mess. It's a double-ended brush and you're supposed to spray it and it's supposed to just go on and it sprayed all over my hands, all over my desk. So I'm going to try to do it with maybe a beauty sponge. I think I might try to do it with a beauty sponge and see how it goes. So these two are from the ColourPop Powerpuff Girl collection. We have Saving the World, which is my favorite, obviously because it's peach. And if I haven't said that enough times today, peachy orangey ones are my favorite. And then we have this one is Fighting Crime and it is super pink, like super pink. I'm excited to try this. I haven't actually tried it but now I'm excited now that I look at it. And the last blush item I have is the LOML blush from Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics. And it looks like this, very orangey. I do really like this to top over my creams if I'm doing like a new makeup makeup look. Other than that, I will not actually use this over foundation because I, I feel like I tend to have to use a whole lot more for it just to show up remotely close to a normal blush. So I just really only use it if I'm doing over cream blush that I feel like needs to really be set down and calm down. So, but that is it, ladies and gentlemen, from my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did declutter two blushes. Pat me right on the back. I probably should get rid of some more, but I love them. And I plan to just keep growing them and growing them and growing them because I love them so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below what is your favorite blush so I can try it out if I don't have it because we know I am obsessed. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me before you leave make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss out on any of my new videos and i will see you guys on the next one bye